Hey, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Y'all know who this is? This your boy, Rod Thomas Jr., and this is the real news behind the news. Oh, yeah, today is Thursday, man, October 22nd. And in this video, man, come on now, we got to ask the question, what is going on here in Freeport? With, uh, now, in the case of this triple homicide that happened over in Allendale, one of the cats that um, has been arrested for allegedly um, um, participating in that triple homicide. Now, I'm going to go down, y'all, and read some of the charges, all the charges that this guy got from um, from Cattle Parish Correctional Center. And this is not to put him on blast, but it's to ask a question. Is law enforcement somehow involved in some of these killings around here in Freeport? We also got to ask, are these dudes, a lot of these dudes working for law enforcement? Reason why they are being allowed to do this shit? Or do we have, simply have a broken judicial system? And in, in this case, y'all, when you all listen to these charges that this young man has over the last, what, 10 years? It's going to blow your mind. It actually leads you to ask the question, how the, how the heck he was out here on the streets to participate, allegedly participate in this murder? Now, I'm going to be very brief. But, um, again, I don't like calling no people by their name, y'all. But in this situation, man, we got to be truthful. We got to call the name out. The, the brother's name is Tobias DeAndre Williams. Now, we're going to start with the most recent charges he had in, in, um, um, that he just got arrested on. Second-degree murder. Th these charges are, are brought against him on 10 17 20, this month, 17th of this month. You have second-degree murder, bond amount $750,000. Second-degree murder, bond amount $750,000. Another second degree murder. So there's three second degree murders with $750,000 bond. Now we're going to go to uh, 9 12 18, September 12, 2018. Manufacturing distribution of uh, Schedule 2, $35,000 bond. Manufacturing Schedule Distribution 2, Schedule 2, $50,000 bond. Possession of a firearm um, and a concealed weapon by a felon, $50,000 bond. Possession of a firearm with possession of controlled dangerous substance. Another $50,000 bond. Keep in mind, that's two years ago. Anybody that knows, uh, anybody that a convicted felon that get caught with a gun, that's at least a 10-year charge. And if the feds pick it up, it could be even more. Now we're going, oh, and this still, this still going, now this one here goes from 8-18-2018. Now keep in mind, this is 2018 still. And you got second-degree murder. $750,000 bond. Another second degree murder. $750,000 bond. A third second degree murder. $750,000 bond. Now keep in mind, he's arrested now on three charges of attempted second degree murder. Then you had two, three more in 2018. Now we're going back to uh, September 12th, 2018 again. Hold on, let me make sure. Yeah. <coughs> September 2012. We're going to go back. We're going to go back down. Uh, all right, now we're going to go to, um, what's this, August 18th, 2018. Aggravated flight from an officer, a felony, $75,000 bond. Proper uh, equipment required on ve vehicle, $150 bond. Resisting an officer. All right, now we're going to go down to, um, we're going to go down to, uh, <coughs> y'all excuse me, man, I, I'm just getting over a cold. We're going to go to um, um, November 15th. 2016, attempted second degree murder. Uh, second, attempted to second degree murder. Um, second degree murder charge, a $400,000 bond. In state fugitive. That means he was, he was on, um, he was, um, on parole or something like that, and he, he ran. But y'all see how many uh, second degree murder charges this brother had just in the last two years? All right, we're going to come, we're going to come back. We're going to come back. Um, 11-15-2016, attempted second-degree murder, one charge. Attempted second-degree murder, two charges. Attempted second-degree murder, three charges. Now, let's go. We're going to go to um, May 14, 2014, attempted first-degree murder, manufacturing distribution of Schedule Two. Illegal possession of stolen firearm. Possession of firearm and controlled dangerous subject. <coughs> substance. <coughs> Excuse me. Second degree battery, simple battery. Now we're going to um, 
2014 again. Um, we're going to um, 2000, 2010. So, I mean, December 15, 2010. Attempted first degree murder. Illegal possession of stolen firearms. Manufactured this distribution of Schedule 2. <coughs> That's 12, 15, 10. Do y'all see something wrong with this? Or am I the only one that sees something wrong with this, y'all? Now we're going to uh, 17. Well, we got that. Oh, no, nah, this is more from 2015. Let me read. I mean, 2010. We got attempted first-degree murder, illegal possession of stolen firearm, manufacturing the schedule of uh, Schedule 2, possession of firearm, in-state fuel, just simple battery, second-degree battery, contempt of court. This is a... Uh, those aren't nothing. Now we go back to well, 2010. Most of these here are repeating. Now we're going to go back to, uh, well, we're going to leave it at that. <coughs> Excuse me. But can y'all see, over the last 10 years, this cat has had almost 10 fucking attempted murder charges, whether it be first or second degree. Bonds are set at 75000 on each one. How is this dude bonding out? How was he bonding out when you had bonds tolling to almost a half? a million dollars in a couple of cases and why was he being allowed to bond out on these serious type of charges it leads me to go back and say what i've always been telling y'all the police in a lot of cases are using these cats as their snitches these are the real snitches these are the cats who really and i'm not saying in this guy's case but in a lot of these cases and even in this case it has to be some kind of of flaw in the system for this man to get out over the last 10 years with all these attempted murder charges and not convicted on none of them. Bonding out on these charges in a lot of cases. So that means either law enforcement is employing his services or you got a broken judicial system that's allowing murders, murderers, to go around and continue to murder people, man. Again, this dude just got arrested, <coughs> excuse me, last week on three counts of second degree murder. And as I read down the list, you see this young man, I mean, this cat can't even be over 30 something years old. And this young man got almost 10 fucking murder charges or attempted murder charges here in Shreveport. What's really going on? We have to ask that question again. Are the police um, involved in some of these murders and deep, that deep involved in the dope game? Because every, every charge pretty much he had, had stemmed. If you could just go back down there. If y'all go to my page, you see what uh, Sister Keisha Chevelle, she posted the, all, the, all the charges that he's been arrested. This dude has gotten away with more murder than the United States military overseas. Literally. Literally. <clears throat> so y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to keep updating on y'all because from what we understand, there's another person <coughs> involved. Um, there's more people allegedly involved in that triple homicide. But again, we're going to ask the question, how is it that a convicted felon with a firearm is not doing 15 years and still, and still um, allowed to get out here in the streets and further create chaos and assault people? kill people, you know what I'm saying, over and over again. That's either police complicity in these crimes or you got a broken judicial system. Y'all stay tuned and have a blessed day.